This question 4 is probably the easiest I've seen in a long time. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what we can do. First question 4.1, write down the equations of the asymptotes of g, g of x. So we have g of x being equals to 1 divided by x minus 1 plus 2. So in order to find our asymptotes, uh, let's start with the vertical asymptote. So vertical asymptote. We need to equate this denominator to zero because it cannot divide by zero. So that value of x will be our asymptote. So x minus one is equals to zero. X is equals to one. That is our vertical asymptote. And now our vertical, not our vertical, but our horizontal asymptote will be y is equals to two because we know that the graph cannot touch two. So horizontal asymptote, y is equals to 2. There we go. x is equals to 1 and y is equals to 2 are our asymptotes. 4.1. Let's take a look at 4.2. 4.2, draw a graph of g indicating any intercepts with the axis and asymptotes. Okay, we need to draw this graph. We already have the asymptotes. We just need the intercepts now. Let's start with the y-intercept. So y-intercept, we know that x is equals to 0. So we're going to have g of 0 being equals to 1 divided by 0 minus 1 plus 2. So 1 divided by minus 1, that is minus 1, plus 2 is positive 1. So our y-intercept is some coordinate x is 0 and y is 1. Okay, let's move to the x-intercept, where now y is equals to 0. So we get 0 is equals to 1 divided by x minus 1 plus 2. We take 2 to the left hand side. Minus 2 is equals to 1 divided by x minus 1. If we cross multiply, we're going to get minus 2x plus 2 is equals to 1. So minus 2x is equals to 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. So x is equals to a half. Our x intercept x is a half and obviously y is zero. So we have our intercepts and our asymptotes. We can go ahead and sketch this graph. So let's go ahead and do that. So these are our axes. We have the y axis and we have the x axis. We now need to indicate our asymptotes. We have one asymptote at y is equal to two. So y is equal to 2 somewhere here. And then we have the asymptote, the other asymptote. Uh, let me check. X is equal to 1. So somewhere here we have the other asymptote. So there we go. We have our asymptotes. Now we need to sketch our graph. Well, we just need to locate our intercepts and we're going to see how our graph should look like. So the intercepts, we have 0 and one for the y intercept so one y is equals to one is somewhere here right because our sim is at y is equals to two and then we have x is equals to a half so a half should be somewhere here that is all we need actually because now we can sketch our parabola and it should look something like this right the graph should curve it should not be strained some people they write it like this which is totally wrong so this is what we are supposed to have let me make this uh, let me give this another try you know, um yeah you know that we we're supposed to have it doesn't look too clean it doesn't look too clean let me rework it again um yeah so there we go we have our graph uh, let's just indicate the points of interest here we have a half and zero. And here we have zero and one. And here we have the intersection of our um of our sim tools. It's not a coordinate because the graph doesn't touch there. So let's just leave that point. Um let me not use arrows here because now it's like I'm drawing a graph. Let me not do that. Let me just bring the point closer instead of doing that right i don't want any issues to arise i don't want to lose any marks yeah um so f 
0 and this is 0 and 1. That is way much better. If I put an error there, it seems like it's a graph and that is unacceptable. 4.2, what about 4.3? What about 4.3? Yeah, we do need to show here that um, our axis, they keep going, right? And then this is the Y and this is the X. Because if I don't see that on your script, then um, assuming it's not a graph, you know, you were just putting some lines and you didn't answer the question. I must see the axis. Right, 4.3, determine the values of X for which G of X is greater than zero. So let's stick to our sketch here. Um, we can see that in this part, G of X is greater than zero. We can clearly see that. And then another part where G of X is greater than zero is this part from x is equals to a half this part up to negative infinity um g of x is greater than zero so what are we saying we're saying that when x is greater than one g of x is greater than zero because x cannot be equals to one that's our asymptote and x is less than a half a g of x is greater than zero so that is our solution um from the graph i think you can also solve this algebraically and find the same value okay 4.4 determine the equation of the axis of symmetry of g which has a negative gradient right so the one that has a negative gradient is minus x plus c if it had a positive gradient it would be y is equal to x plus c that's how it works and then the point you substitute here is where your asymptotes intersect. Our asymptote x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. This is the point we need to substitute in order to find uh, this c on the axis of symmetry. Okay, of which when we do that, 2 is equal to minus 1 plus c. So 3 is equal to c. y is equal to minus x plus 3. There we go. Which video do you want me to do next? Leave a comment and I'll do it right now.